And today we'll talk about the brand new Cycles Viewport Denoising feature that is coming over to Blender 2.83. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're looking at a very cool feature that is coming to the cycle side of things in Blender 2.83. This is one of the things that will be coming as an extra feature to cycles and I think it makes a lot of sense for us to take a look at it. It is the optics viewport denoising. Now we already know how interesting it is for you to go through and denoise things. And we've also seen in 2.82 that there's a denoising feature that is now implemented into, you know, the rendering side of things. But then it becomes a bit more interesting if it is possible for you to do your denoising directly on your viewport. Now, this is not something that is new when you're looking at it from the EV side of things. But believe me, if you're just doing a very simple render and you want to get like that particular production quality out of cycles, this is going to be a huge time saver. So if I take example of what we have directly here, you can see that already we have EV running. And at this point, you can actually move in here and start making a couple of changes. But then if we switch over to cycles, you can start seeing that it takes a bit of time for this render to start. Now for the render to start, that is not the problem but then getting a very clean render on the viewport is one of the challenges that a lot of people get to face whenever they're working with cycles and for you to actually get this thing good what you need to do is to come over here and switch your device to gpu a good thing that cycles now support gpu and right here on this machine i'm making use of an nvidia quadro 5000 which is a very good one for us to try with so i'm going to switch this to gpu compute and of course you can start seeing some very interesting looking stuff and at this point we want to try out the brand new denoising feature and all we have to do is just come over to this part called sampling and i will simply come down here and change this to the optics accelerated and once i do that you would start noticing that the denoising is taking effect of course this is going to work in so many so many cases especially if you just want to get some very very interesting cool single shots out of the way but for animations i don't think you know you rendering directly on your viewport would make so much sense because you know once you get to play back this it might not really work as good as you may think so if you want to get like that very single stylized interesting solid shots or you want to get that proper render and you don't want to spend so much time rendering this is a very interesting solution that the guys from blender foundation have provided and i think it's going to help a lot of people get things out of the way and this does not just work only for you know a set of features you can still play with the lights and at the same time you get that real-time feedback of course this is you know your path tracing happening in real time and i guess this is definitely going to change the way people would work with blender going forward and of course we've seen Eevee you know do a lot of things but then there's just so many interesting things that you want to get out of Blender uh, using circles which you cannot really get out of by using Eevee and you know this is very very interesting to play with owing to the fact that in most cases you don't really get 100% of what you want to get if you're working with Eevee you know we're going to take a simple look at this right now so you can see what we have this is exactly what we have some very interesting shadows going on here but if we simply switch this to cycles you can start seeing that we're having a whole lot of interesting feedback going here now instead of having that very harsh you know looking feel from here you can automatically start seeing this now take for example if you want to simply render this and you want to get this thing out of the way you need to submit a very quick you know a quick render and you have a deadline i think this is definitely going to save it's definitely going to save the day and you could also see that directly from here we already have our sample viewport at 32 now think about the possibilities that you're going to get if you're working in this mode and you have a higher rendering sample of course you might not really hit that render sample point but then you would already get noise free rendering even before you get to that sample point that you're going for so at this point i would say that blender 2.83 is actually extremely render efficient in terms of doing some very clean renders owing to all of these features that are coming in and this particular denoising feature is one of the best ones i've seen so far and that's it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section would you try to play with this too have you used this before tell me what your thoughts and your observations are if you like this video you learned something from this go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace